Hello guys, welcome back to Ashes Curious Age. Go! Okay, so today I'm gonna read a book to you. It's called Zayed and the Special Garden. See? Bum, 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 bum. By Anissa Omar. Okay, so let's begin. Zayed sat attentively at his desk and listened to Muallima Fatima speaking. Tomorrow is the first day of spring, so we are going to we are going to do something special. We are going to plant our very own vegetable garden. Inshallah, but to make it even to make it even more special. We are only going to plant those vegetables that are mentioned in the Quran. The class became excited, excited, and everyone began whispering. Sarah raised her hand. Yes, Sarah asked Mu'allima Fatima. Why don't we plant the fruits and other edible plants mentioned in the Quran as well? Okay, that would be lovely, agreed Mu'allima Fatima. Then Muhammad raised his hand. Yes, Muhammad. What would we do with all those fruits and vegetables? I have an idea," said Zayed. "We could give it all to the poor." Insha Allah," said Muallima Fatima. "Now let's start making a list of all those fruits and vegetables. Everybody, copy this table in your workbooks." And we will complete it together with the surah and the verse in which the plant is mentioned. Now open your Qurans and start looking. Zayed raised his hand. Yes, Zayed. The fig and the olive are mentioned in Surah At-Tin, verse one. That's correct. Please write write it in your books. Cucumbers, garlic, onions, herbs, and lentils are lentils are mentioned are all mentioned in Surah Al Baqarah, verse sixty one. Said Yasmi. That's right. Let's fill that in. Muhammad so Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam loved cu- cucumbers and he ate them together with dates. I'm going to try that when I get home. Said Hamza. Me too. Chorused a few others. The learners quickly found the remaining verses, and soon the table was completed. Complete. Plant zero verse. Plant fig, olive, dates, grapes, pomegranates, cucumbers, garlic, onion, herbs, lentils, banana, gourd, ginger, mustard, corn, grain. Surah Atin Atin. Al Anam Al Anam Al Anam Al Bakara Al Bakara Al Bakara Al Bakara Al Wakya As Safat Al Insan Al Lukman Al Bakara Al Anam Very good. Masha Allah. Now if you look at the list you will realize that not all these plants Plants grow in this part of the world, so we won't be able to plant all of them. Unfortunately, the school bell interrupted. Okay, everybody, please come early tomorrow morning. I'll have the seeds ready, insha Allah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Said the class as they gathered their books and went outside. Zayed and Muhammad decided to look for. The perfect spot for the garden. As they ran outside, Jafar, the school gardener, was already preparing the soil for planting in the corner of the schoolyard. Perfect! They sat together and ran home excitedly to tell their moms all about the special garden. The next morning, everyone came early. Your Alima Fatima had had given had had all the seeds. Ready and small fig, pomegranate, banana, 
ripe and olive trees that she had brought from the nursery. She had already labeled each row. Don't forget to say Bismillah before planting each seed. Everybody planted each seed carefully. When all the work was done, everybody, wa everyone watched, washed their hands and sat in a circle under the biggest and oldest oak tree in the schoolyard. Ma'allama Fatima opened her Quran and read a few verses from Surah al waqia See you the see you the seed that you sow in the ground. Is it you that cause it to grow, or are we the cause? Who were it our will, we could crumble it to dry powder, and you would be left in wonderment. I never thought about that before," said Mustafa. "Yeah, most people think that you just plant a seed and it grows. That's it," added Kamal. I think Shaytan makes us forget that it is Allah that controls all things," said Iman. It is good to hear your thoughts, children. Now we have have to water the garden every day and put our trust in Allah, and inshallah He would make the plants grow. Abdullah raised his hand. Yes, Abdullah. How long would it take for the first vegetables to be ready? Well, it differs, but we would probably have some cucumbers after about two months, inshallah. Then we'll be able to give it to the poor, exclaimed the children, inshallah. But some plants take a long time to bear fruit. For example, the olives would be re re would only be ready after a few four years. What if we aren't here by that time? Asked Zina. And what if the other students eat the fruit or damage them? Asked Amar. Amar, let us put up a sign saying for the poor and needy, do not eat or, da or damage, suggested Zayed. Good idea. Now let's just get back to the classroom and make that sign, said Ma'allima Fatima. Ten weeks later. Alhamdulillah, the first cucumbers, onions, and herbs are ready to be given to the poor, exclaimed Ma'allima Fatima. Alhamdulillah, shouted the, uh, the children excitedly. So tomorrow we will be visiting the poor people who live in the shacks nearby, inshallah, said the teacher. I have an idea. Why don't each of us tell our parents to buy a loaf? Of bread and a bottle of milk, which we could, which we could give to the, to our family along with the vegetables, suggested Salima. And we could, we could all sort out our cup cupboards at home and bring some clothes for them as well. Added Zayed. Excellent ideas, Masha Allah. Children, please think of any ways you can help them, and we will meet tomorrow morning at the vegetable garden inshallah the next morning everyone was bright and early at school asma's dad had donated some blankets as they owned a shop that sold blankets idris idris mom had donated some soap and toothpaste from the general store they owned hanan's hanan's granddad donated some uh, some toys from his toy factory and said thanks Dad came along in his van to transport all the things. Some moms decided to come along too, and brought an area of freshly baked food. When when the children from the other classes heard of this good deed, they wanted to join as well, but uh, had work to complete for the other teachers. Don't worry, every grade will get a turn to help each month. Allama Fatima assured them. Soon the surprise reached the poor people of the settlement. Oh, what smiles it brought to their faces, and some even shed tears of joy. The little kids were especially ecstatic with the toys they received. The old women were also pleased to hear where the vegetables were from. Inshallah, we will be back soon when the next lot of vegetables are ripe, said the children. As they walked back to school, 
The children discussed how good it felt to help those in need. They also realized that they should be grateful for what they had the most of all. They felt closer to Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. That reminds me of a hadith of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If you love the poor and bring them close to you, Allah will bring you close to him on the day of re- resurrection. Said Zayed. That is correct, replied Mu'allima Fatima. And there is also a verse in Surah Al-Baqarah which will give you something to think about. It is related to both gardening that we did as well as charity and goes like this. The parable of those who spent their substance in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that of a grain of corn and grows seven ears and each year has a hundred grains. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives man a whole increase to whom he pleases. And, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cares for all and he knows all things. Allahu Akbar. So I hope you like it, liked it a lot. I really was interested in this book. It's amazing, especially when it's about Islam. So don't forget to say tuned. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, okay? Bye-bye. See you in the next video.